those of you who marvel at the night sky, here's something that'll make your hearts race. Are you ready to voyage beyond the familiar stars and the moon, all the way to our enigmatic neighboring planet Venus? Prepare yourself, because we have some extraordinary secrets to unveil. If you've heard of Michio Kaku, then you might already be familiar with his knack for delivering groundbreaking revelations from the universe. In his latest work, The Cosmic Race, Kaku brings us closer to the stars, courtesy of some fresh off the press, yet vintage Soviet Union photographs of Venus. And now, imagine if you will, for a second we're stepping into a time machine and journeying back to the period right after the end of the catastrophic World War II. An intense global conflict that left the world significantly changed, this moment marked the dawn of a new, suspense-filled era that stretched for nearly four decades, from the late 1940s to the 1980s, commonly known as the Cold War. However, this was no ordinary war, but a period of significant tension and rivalry between two of the world's most powerful nations, the US and the Soviet Union. The US and the Soviet Union were the two titans of the 20th century, locked in a fierce race to outperform each other. Their primary objective? To attain global dominance and influence. They endeavored to surpass each other in various sectors, including, but not limited to, technology, science, and military prowess. Each wanted to prove to the world that they were the superior superpower, possessing the most advanced capabilities and the brightest minds. During this time, a particular sphere emerged as a central battleground for this rivalry, the vast, largely unknown expanse of outer space. An intense competition, famously referred to as the Space Race, was born under this ongoing Cold War. This wasn't a physical confrontation on any kind of battlefield, instead, it was a grand spectacle taking place millions of miles above Earth, set against the boundless backdrop of the cosmos. The aim of the space race was multifold. Firstly, both superpowers sought to demonstrate their technological superiority by reaching milestones in space exploration before the other. Secondly, they wanted to prove to the world and themselves that they could go beyond the constraints of our planet and venture into the largely unknown universe. The competition was not just about space exploration, but it demonstrated the strength of their scientific capabilities, their national resources and political systems. The Soviet Union at the time was a nation filled with ambition, ready to leave its mark on the world stage. They were determined to assert their dominance in this race, eager to step into the realm of space exploration before their American counterparts. And indeed, they were successful in achieving this first. The Soviet Union managed to stun the world in 1957 when they successfully launched Sputnik the world's first artificial satellite. This event wasn't just a significant milestone in the space race, but a historic event that forever changed humanity's relationship with the cosmos. Sputnik was a small, spherical object, not larger than a beach ball, yet it made an enormous impact. As it revolved around the Earth, its consistent beeping signal transmitted the receivers worldwide was a stark reminder of the technological triumph the Soviets had achieved. For the first time, an object created by human hands was orbiting our planet marking the birth of a new era of scientific discovery and exploration. This pivotal moment set shockwaves throughout the international community. Sputnik's launch announced the arrival of a new era, a new age, an age of space exploration where humans were no longer confined to Earth but could venture out into the cosmos. It was a turning point in the Cold War and an essential first step in the era of space travel, setting the stage for more ambitious missions and escalating the competition between the US and the SU, <laughs> or the you know, Soviet Union. Uh, in the grand timeline of existence, the world had previously not observed an event of this nature or magnitude. The incident in question was the beginning of an extraordinary race, not just a rush towards the infinity of, of the cosmos or what have you, but equally a pursuit for prestige, for global acknowledgement, for clout, as they say. An essential query, though, remained. Why was the enigmatic celestial body Venus the center of this immense endeavor? Venus, the second planet from the Sun, has often been described as the twin sister of our home planet, Earth. This metaphorical sibling to Earth has caught the attention of researchers and scientists globally due to its relative proximity and uncanny resemblances to our blue planet. However, just as with any pair of siblings, stark differences and distinguishing features can't be disregarded. Venus and Earth share a similar size, mass, rocky composition, all contributing to the sibling analogy. In terms of diameter, Venus is not only about 650 kilometers smaller than Earth, it also contains a similar overall mass, about 81.5% of Earth's to be more precise. The surface of both planets features mountains, valleys, and vast amounts of volcanic activity. However, despite these resemblances, Venus is far from a mirror image of Earth. The planet's atmosphere is thick, its opaque layer of mostly carbon dioxide with clouds mostly made of sulfuric acid, which leads to an extreme greenhouse effect causing Venus to be the hottest planet in our solar system, even hotter than Mercury, which is closer to the Sun. 
Given these similarities and contrasts, a pivotal question began to confound scientists' minds and engage the wider public's curiosity. Under certain circumstances, could Venus function as a secondary residence for the human species within the limitless expanse of the universe? This quest for understanding and exploration sparked an enthusiastic flurry of activity, predominantly led by the Soviet Union, which was resolutely devoted to deciphering Venus's enigmas. The era of the Venera missions were launched. These were ambitious operations in which the Soviets dispatched a multitude of probes, apt acting like cosmic detectives on a fact-finding mission to the cloud-veiled landscape of Venus. The landscape was equipped with advanced instruments to gather data on the planet's atmospheric pressure, temperature, light levels, and other crucial information. The overall objective of these missions was to provide a comprehensive view of Venus's environment. In physicist Michio Kaku's latest book, we are presented with an unparalleled opportunity to witness the outcomes of these groundbreaking missions. The text includes declassified images that offer a peek into the obscure world of Venus, providing a rare chance to take a step forward in our understanding of our universe. The book uncovers a wealth of information about Venus's surface and temperature, revealing how different Venus is from our home planet despite their similarities. So, to all the astronomy enthusiasts out there, get ready to tighten your metaphorical seatbelts. We are on the verge of a breathtaking voyage into the cosmos that promises to further our knowledge and our, you know, the, the, the amount that we understand our galactic neighborhood. The exploration of Venus, courtesy of the Venera program, is a testament to human curiosity and the ceaseless endeavor to unravel the mysteries of the universe. In the grand choreography of our solar system, planets whirl in an intricate ballet against the expensive canvas of the universe. Amongst these planetary performers, Venus has attracted significant attention. The Venera program was the former Soviet Union's answer to this celestial call. A historical milestone in scientific exploration aimed at unraveling the secrets of this neighboring planet. The intention was straightforward, but it was formidable. To decode Venus's atmospheric makeup, surface features, and overall environment. Venus was not just a random celestial target, but a deliberate choice, its importance reflecting the grandeur of human aspiration. But the exploration of Venus is no stroll in an art gallery, no tranquil visit to a museum. It's an alien world harboring extreme conditions, a realm where humans will be flattened like a like a paper under the colossal weight of the atmosphere and incinerated in temperatures hot enough to liquefy lead. However, these obstacles failed to deter the Soviets, who saw them as challenges rather than impassable barriers. The Soviet Union launched the first jewel of their ambitious plan, Venera 1, into space in 1961. However, this expedition was far from flawless. The mission missed its target by a daunting 62,000 miles, an expanse that's hard to really fathom on Earth, but relatively close in the vastness of space. This error, although significant, didn't dampen the spirit of exploration. It would have been easy for the Soviet Union to surrender, deem the task too ambitious and too risky, but instead, the nation actually displayed remarkable tenacity. The collective brains of the Soviet Union reconvened in the following year, and Venera II was launched. Yet, like its predecessor, this mission too fell short of reaching Venus. But as the saying goes, third time's a charm, right? Undeterred by previous setbacks, the Soviet Union propelled Venera III into the cosmos in 1965. Finally, success was within reach. Venera 3 didn't perform a perfect landing, it actually crashed into Venus and transmitted valuable information back to Earth before succumbing to the planet's corrosive atmosphere. The crash landing signified a critical turning point in the Soviet Union's approach to space exploration. They realized the need for enhanced spacecraft to extract meaningful data from Venus. Armed with this understanding, Soviet engineers bolstered the structural resilience of their spacecraft and fitted them with cutting-edge technology. Each spacecraft featured a removable pod, or descent module, Equipped with instruments like a barometer, radar altimeter, gas analyzers, and thermometers. With these instruments, scientists hoped to mine as much data as possible in the limited time the descent module could survive on Venus's inhospitable surface. Now let's return to the heart of your query. What mysteries did the Soviets unearth on Venus? A delve into the archives, examining the Venera mission records, and pursuing declassified documents from Soviet space programs might illuminate the answers. The Venera series extended beyond Venera 3, each mission building up upon the previous. Among these missions, Venera 4 held particular significance. The spacecraft's successful landing was a milestone, but the real triumph here lay in the discoveries made upon arrival. Venera 4 found extremely high concentrations of carbon dioxide. But why does that matter? As a greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide traps heat. Given the high levels of this gas in Venus's atmosphere, it's not surprising the planet's surface is hotter than Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. The discovery was instrumental in advancing our understanding of Venus's climate and geological history. And there was an added consequence. Earth, being similar to Venus, could potentially meet a similar fate if greenhouse gases continued to accumulate in our atmosphere. Venus serves as a grim reminder of the catastrophic effects of unchecked greenhouse gas accumulation, but 
This was not the end of the astonishing revelations. Indeed, the exploration of Venus remains an ongoing mystery, a journey marked by perseverance, resilience, and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. The historic moment when Venera 4 discovered that Venus was blanketed in a thick layer of carbon dioxide with no global magnetic field was a revelation for mankind. This magnetic shield encircling the Earth plays an essential role in preserving life by providing a safeguard against the solar radiation and the perilous cosmic winds. If we didn't have this, civilization as we understand it today would face an abrupt decline, to put it gently. The stark absence of a similar shield around Venus signaled a red flag, indicating that life as we know it might be virtually unattainable on the planet. The revelations brought about by Venera 4 were critical in shaping our understanding of the possible conditions conducive for life on other planets not just within our solar system, but also in the vast expanse of the cosmos beyond. As time passed, every mission, every bit of data collected was helping to unravel the mysteries surrounding the Venus, Earth, and just the universe at large. These voyages of exploration were not just technological marvels or astronomical feats, but the tools that we used to gradually push the boundaries of our comprehension of the universe, helping us journey deeper into its intricacies. Unfortunately, Venera 4 groundbreaking journey ended after a very short span of about 90 minutes. The relentless heat and crushing pressure of Venus resulted in the demise of the probe, causing it to dissolve in the planet's thick atmosphere. Despite its brief lifespan, the precious 90 minutes of data that Venera 4 captured was invaluable, providing crucial insights into the enigmatic world of Venus. Buoyed by the promising results yielded by Venera 4, two more probes, 5 and 6, were then launched towards Venus in 1969. These satellites, designed with cutting-edge technology and equipped with more advanced sensors, were aimed at providing a more refined understanding of the Earth's atmosphere. On January 5th of 1969, Venera 5 started its journey. This probe was designed to follow the footsteps of its predecessor, Venera 4, descending into Venus's atmosphere, collecting data all along its journey. As it dropped through the atmosphere for a good 53 minutes, it released a capsule brimming with scientific instruments. This probe relayed vital information back about Venus as it glided onto its parachute. The data collected ranged from the chemical composition, distribution of oxygen and hydrogen, atmospheric density, to the lighting and the temperature of Venus's atmosphere. Following closely was Venera 6, which launched just five days later on January 10th of 1969. The spacecraft was also armed with sensors aimed at analyzing cosmic particle streams, mapping the distribution of oxygen and hydrogen, measuring atmospheric pressure and density, and even tracking the temperature and humidity of Earth's upper atmosphere. Venera 6 made its entry into Venus's atmosphere on May 18th of 1969, only a day after its predecessor, Venera 5. It sent data back to Earth for 51 minutes during its descent. Even though its photometer malfunctioned, it was able to measure the 2-bar and 10-bar pressures in Venus's atmosphere. Given the extreme density of Venus's atmosphere, the parachutes on both Venera 5 and 6 were deliberately made smaller. This was to ensure that the capsules could dive deep enough before their power supply depleted. The information gleaned from these missions fortified the earlier conclusions of Venera 4, confirming the high temperatures, the extreme pressures, and the dominance of carbon dioxide in Venus's atmosphere. These findings all pointed towards the harsh reality that Venus might be an unwelcoming environment for complex life forms. The subsequent probes, Venera 7 and 8, were significant components of the Venera program designed to probe deeper into the mysteries of Venus, relaying critical information back to Earth. Launched in August of 1970, Venera 7 marked a major breakthrough in space exploration. As far as we know, this was the first instance of a spacecraft successfully landing on another planet and transmitting data back to Earth. Constructed to withstand the formidable pressure and scorching temperatures of Venus, Venera 7 was armed with a host of sensors designed to measure temperature, pressure, and atmospheric density, in addition to tracking acceleration and altitude via radar. The trip to Venus was not a straight shot. It necessitated a few course adjustments using the onboard engine. After a few months of travel, in December of that year, Venera 7 arrived on Venus, ready to penetrate the planet's atmosphere. The entry was not without its challenges. It was kept attached to the bus to maintain the lander's temperatures for as long as possible during the atmospheric entry. However, the descent was faster than expected due to the parachute malfunctions. As a result, the lander crashed into Venus's surface at a speed of approximately 59 kilometers per hour. While that may sound like a failure, in the field of space exploration, even these seemingly failed attempts are stepping stones to success. In an unexpected twist, an event unfolded on the global stage that sent shockwaves throughout the international community. This astounding thing happened centering on the Soviet Union's impressive and audacious Venera 7 mission. Underneath the Venera 7's metallic exterior lay a landing gear designed and fortified to withstand the most devastating of crashes. To the astonishment of many, the spacecraft's immense impact didn't result in total ruin, while the outer shell succumbed to a brutal crash. Disintegrating under the powerful force, the inner capsule, the heart of the lander, remained intact. 
It stood as a valiant protector of the priceless scientific instruments it cradled within its sturdy shell. Once touched down on the blistering surface of Venus, the Venera 7 spacecraft had a brief yet significant window of time, 23 minutes to transmit data back to Earth. These moments, short as they may seem, were abundant in their informational value for the scientists eagerly dissecting the secrets of our sister planet. The data relayed by Venera 7 painted the picture of a planet with an infernal surface temperature, reaching an almost unimaginable 475 degrees Celsius, which is a staggering 887 degrees Fahrenheit. Furthermore, the atmospheric pressure of Venus was found to be a mind-boggling 90 times that of our own planet, but there was more. The lander also detected a faint magnetic field, the origin of which could be traced back to the spacecraft itself. Despite its dramatic entrance onto Venus's surface, Venera 7 etched its name into the annals of history as the first spacecraft to successfully relay data from another planet's surface. In the wake of Venera 7's groundbreaking feat, the Soviet Union unveiled the next chapter in their cosmic odyssey. You guessed it, Venera 8. This mission, launched in March 1972, aimed to delve deeper into the mysteries surrounding the composition of Venus's atmosphere and the condition of its surface. The spacecraft was armed with an array of scientific tools, reminiscent of its predecessor, including a temperature sensor, barometer, gas analyzer, and accelerometer. On July 22nd of 1972, Venera 8 made its graceful arrival on Venus. The spacecraft then spent a total of 50 minutes transmitting invaluable data back to Earth. Through this information, scientists confirmed the extreme temperatures and the atmospheric pressure already detected by Venera 7. Moreover, though, they discovered the presence of carbon dioxide and traces of noble gases like argon and neon, peppered in Venus's atmosphere. These crucial data points significantly augmented our understanding of Venus. In retrospect, the Soviet Union's Venera missions played an instrumental role in de demystifying Venus, Earth's closest planetary neighbor. The intel gathered by these missions on Venus's atmospheric conditions, surface structure, and overall composition were groundbreaking at the time, and I suppose still are today. Despite the initial hiccups, the early missions opened the path for subsequent ventures, each more successful than the last, enabling the accumulation of knowledge. Each of these missions, their images, and data have left an indelible mark on our comprehension of Venus. The vast differences between Earth and Venus are understood largely due to the pioneering efforts of the Soviet Union's Venera missions. In their bold exploration, they've offered us a profound glimpse into the fascinating, tumultuous world of Venus, illuminating its fiery landscapes and its oppressive atmosphere bringing our celestial neighbor just a bit closer to home. What secrets does our neighboring planet hold, and how do they shape our understanding of the universe? Hit that like button and subscribe for more.